That was a big difference. You know, I look back in the three that I played um, so far, and that's the the one in Detroit is the one I actually probably enjoyed the most, even right. though, you know, 2006 was in the K Club in my home yeah. country, and, and 2002 was the one where I hold a winning putt. But the one I enjoyed the most was 2004, and I feel I played a huge role in that team, right. a big anchoring role uh, in that team. Um, I was unbeaten, I won all my games, um, and it was it was phenomenal. It, re it was a phenomenal week. Um, we won by a record margin in America. Um, and again, for me, that sense of responsibility that Langer gave me, again, ignited me. Um, and I reacted very positively to that, mm -hmm. to that responsibility he gave me, which was, as you say, playing with Luke the first day and the first morning. And, and he had a word in my ear about why he wanted me to play and why he was putting me with Luke. How different was that experience from the fact that the belfry was so tight and you know, Detroit was almost a whitewash, really. Even though it's it's always a lot closer than it seems on, mm. you know, on, you can look at the results and go, you know, it was a huge landslide victory, but there was still a serious amount of golf that had to be played to to get to that stage where you can amass such a big total. There was, course. yeah, and it was very much, I remember, um, we were leading by two or three points going into the singles, may, maybe more, maybe four points. So we had a substantial lead. Um, and the floor, we had the whole floor in, in the hotel. Um, and at the end of the floor was a, was a, a big, um, was a, a, a business room with a right. big long business table, uh, which was our team meeting room every, every, every day. And Langer was always last into the room. Uh, and he sat at the top, obviously, and Monty always sat at the other end. And all the mm. players sat along the side and the vice captains. Um, and I remember on a Saturday night, we were chuffed. Um, you just yeah. taken out Tiger as well, hadn't you? But yeah, was seven yeah. part again. That, that was yeah. a special moment, yeah. As an Irishman, that was a really special moment. Mm -hmm. um, probably, I nearly go as far as to say is that was more special than, winning the win than holding the winning putt right. because it was being Irish in the heartland of America, in yeah. Detroit, and everybody around that green was, was Irish. Yeah. And we were over an hour after the final putt went in because we were last game on the course again before the Irish would let us go, you right. know, and they were singing, you never beat the Irish, yeah. uh, over and over and over. Um, and it was, uh, it was just a tremendous time to be Irish, yeah. But going back to that story with Langer, and I, I remember we were all chuffed ourselves, we were all had a, had a bottle of beer, we were just having our team meeting, uh, everybody was relaxed, it was great, the day was over, we had a great lead, we were, obviously weren't gonna have too many beers, yeah. we had one beer just before dinner, and it was a case of, you know, the captain's gonna come in, and. He's going to be very happy with us and it's going to yeah. be a great team meeting. And uh, Langer was very aggressive in the meeting. He came in late, he slammed the door and it was fist on the, on the table. Right. I just don't want to win this. I want to annihilate the Americans. I want, to, I want the record. And it, was a, it changed the whole tone of everybody. You know, right. all of a sudden the beers were pushed to the side and everybody was sitting up straight in the seat. And there was a real seriousness about Langer. There was no way he was going to let us slack off. Um, and again, I... The big role I played there in the singles was um, was Caroline Harrington, actually Porrick's uh, wife, who who had a great idea. And the idea was because the Irish contingent was so strong in terms of supporters there, that it would be great to have myself and Porrick playing together, um, or back to back, back to back, so right. that the crowd could watch both games. Which is a very clever thing to do because that's the role that Langer did. Langer took it on board and did that. And we were playing down the anchor roles, the last two roles, and. Uh, it was a very important, as, as we started out in the singles the following day, it's funny, things weren't going particularly well up front. Mm. Uh, and it was only myself and Pardew who both started our games well and we got blue on the board. And then all of a sudden, you know, st yeah. blue started to come more around. But we did, we'd, again, we played quite a big role there because that easily could have gone like Brookline and we could have had a ripple effect. But I think we bulked it up early in our games and that made a difference.